add to cart, add to cart, add, add, add it, take my money. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Inka. You can call me YK or you can call me absolutely nothing at all. Now, if you've clicked on this video, chances are you like a little bit of style, a little bit of fashion, a little bit of booty if you're being cheeky, or beauty, and also some lifestyle bits and bobs thrown in there, mixed up into one big old concoction. This is the right channel for you. So hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down below, and let's get right into it, shall we? All right, so as you guys can tell by the title of this video, if I lost it all, what would I repurchase? Um, I do have some things in my closet that I'm not proud of, and I know if I lost it, I would 100% not buy. You could not pay me enough. Watch you, you could, you could, you could pay me enough to buy it again. <laughs> but if you're not paying me to buy it again, I'm not buying buying it again. So I have a few pieces, I have dresses, basics, all the good stuff, and. Yeah, let's get on. First up, we have some basics, um, just a basic white tee and a basic black tee. Um, I know they literally are basics, but these are the best quality basics on the market by my standard. Um, these are both from Uniqlo. These are from the, the U Crew Neck line. And every year I get a new set, either white and black or another variety of color, but nine times out of 10, I usually just at least grab another pair of um, white basic tee and a black basic tee. They're very inexpensive. It's like, I think 16 or 17 bucks for one. So compared to the quality, I think I think it's a good purchase. Um, and I would 100%, if this, if I lost this, whether in the, I don't know, in the luggage somewhere, or if literally it got burned down to a crisp, I am, you will find me at the closest Uniqlo getting another of these. They're great quality. They're so soft on the skin. Um, it's really nice cotton. I really cannot say enough about these. They're very breathable as well. So even if like in, on a really hot summer day, like these are really well made quality and like they're a little bit thick, but they're also very breathable, which you don't often see all the time. So 100% I will be repurchasing these again if I lost them or if they got burned down to crisp. And I would honestly, I think these are the only um, basic tees that I wear and we're well, not the only ones, but like the, the ones that I have the most in the closet. Um, and if I had to recommend anyone to buy cotton basic white and black tees, I recommend these guys. These have been featured in almost every spring video that I've done so far. And I, it's, again, it's just a testament to how great these are and how well made they are and like the quality of these. And um, yeah, so I'll link a few of the videos that I've mentioned them in as well, down below or somewhere up, up here or in the end, just so you guys could go check them out. But um, these guys, 100%. I would buy these again. Um, I'm actually going to buy these again once I'm done with my spending um, ban in June or July, one of those months. But 100%, I'll be buying these. I'll link them down below. Actually, every if I can find them, everything that I mentioned in this video, I will try and link them down below if they're still on if they're still available. If they're unavailable and you don't see them down below, just because they're unavailable. So that's why. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the next thing. All right, so next up I have these two, I guess you could call them basics, but this is just a basic linen pants suit that I got from Mango. Um, if you're wondering why I still have tags on these, it's because this is my second pair. I liked the first pair so much that I knew they were gonna sell out, which I think they are sold out right now, and I just had to get them. They were on sale, I think I got them for like 17 bucks. But these were on sale when I got them and I haven't worn them because it's my second pair until the first pair is like done and dusted and like I've used it to oblivion, then I'll break these in. And then I've also had this um, pair of just essentially like black skirt. It's a black skirt. Um, I cannot say enough about this one. Also from Mango actually. I have, this is my second pair, same story as this guy where I got the first pair, I automatically knew if something was to go wrong with the first pair, I can get a second pair on deck just in case. I'm not, I, I was not willing to risk it and find out one day when the zipper is not working. I don't care. 
I have a second pair of this and I have a second pair of this. Um, I have really bad, like, ex not experience, but there was, one really, there was one time where I got these pants from Uniqlo. They were the, I still have them, favorite pair of pants. And I go on the website to get like another one because I was like, oh, these are good. I need like 10 pairs and it was sold out. And Uniqlo just never brought them back. So ever since then, whenever I like something a lot, I will get multiple pairs just because I, 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 I just, I just need a little bit of safety and security that just in case one thing goes wrong, I have backup sets that I could just whip out and use whenever I need them too. So, and this guy, so very, so comfortable. It's linen. Um, it's just really soft on the skin. It's not abrasive, nothing like that. I am not that tall, so it does kind of drag on the floor. So I have to like cuff it. I might need to get it to, I might need to get it to tailor, but I kind of also like the look of it, but that's neither here nor there and this one is just i think it just hits me at the waist and it goes all the way literally floor length so if you're in the market for like a floor length just simple black skirt this is your guy i got this from mango i think these are both sold out but i will check and if they're not then i'll link them down below in the description box so make sure you check out the description box because that's where you will find these guys all right so these are definitely two basic bottoms that i will 100 percent repurchase because why not? All right, so I have a few more things. Let's get into those as well. All right, so next up I have this sweater in gray. It's literally this sweater, but just in gray. Um, I don't know. Okay, so first of all, this is from Source Source Unknown. Source Unknown. I got this from Source Unknown. Um, I saw this one first, and I was like, oh my god, I need to have this. And then I saw that they had it in cream. And I just automatically knew that I was gonna love this before it even came, so I just add to cart, add to cart, add, add, add it, take my money, add to cart. So, so I got both of these at the exact same time. When I got them, tried it on, <sighs> fell in love, and I knew I was gonna love it even before it ever came. Um, I really like these because one, they're knits. Knits are very tricky with me because some knits are comfortable and some knits are not. Some knits, they make me very itchy. These do not. I can wear this morning, morning to night, not one itch. Um, usually when something's itchy, I would wear something underneath it. But as you can tell, literally, I, there's no t-shirt underneath this. I'm just literally, my skin loves it. It's not itchy, it's not abrasive. Just 10 out, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. And obviously, same goes for this. And it just looks like a basic, like, <laughs> no sweat sweater knit however i like them because like they're so versatile that you can i can play around with essentially this the collar i can over the shoulder like this you're good to go i can have it how i had it before just you know showing a little shoulder act a little little shoulder action just one shoulder good to go and then i can just literally have it as like a cow neck you know, if it's, you know, if it's really cold and I need to, you know, keep the neck area warm, you know, a little warmth to that area, <laughs> then I would obviously have it more as a high neck than, you know, as an off the shoulder. But like, obviously once like the warmer, the, the warmer weather kind of kicks in when I don't need to have it like, you know, high neck and whatnot, then I would 100% just gonna have it like off the shoulder, you know, show off the shoulders, show off the clavicle you know we don't have clavicles so show off the clavicle i guess and so yeah essentially what this looks like is what this looks like i don't need to try it on for y'all you get the idea um so yeah <laughs> if i definitely lost this i would purchase it however i would get this before i got this collar only because it's cream i don't know I, it's a miracle if i can keep my lights white cream kind of falls into that category for me i, I will probably mess it up so just because i'm so sad that i lost these two i'll probably get this first so even if like i spill something on this you know it's it's, a, it's more of a doctor collar so you might you know it's not that visible to the naked eye so i would purchase this first this color first and then i'll save up a little bit more to get this because these are like a hundred and something just for sweaters so i don't know how many people are you know in the market to just blow a hundred dollars a hundred plus actually on sweaters so yeah but i would 100 percent get these because I love them, they're comfortable, and my skin just, ah, oh, just kiss. All right, so that's these from Source Unknown, and I have a few more things to show you guys. All right, so next up we have this, I like to call it the Bottega, 
I'm kidding. It's a great dupe. And you just cannot convince me to get the original. Because, you know, you would make sense, right? Like, I lost the dupe. I liked the dupe, which tells me that, you know, I would like the Bottega version. Which, so oftentimes when I buy dupes, it's usually to kind of test it out to see, like, would I actually wear this? Can it fit into my closet? You know, does it, does it make sense as a purchase? And yes to all of that because, baby, this bag, she's going to be, I mean, I've worn her already. And um, I mentioned this in one of my recent hauls. I will, I will link those videos at some point at the end of the cards. Somewhere you will find them, right? But... This bag, when I tell you, I just, I have no words. But my only words for you would be that I'm not buying the Bottega version. Sorry, I just, I just won't, I'm sorry, I just won't. I won't do it, you're not getting my money. It's not gonna happen, absolutely not. So, with that being said, I 100% repurchase this because it's black, black goes with everything. Um, I feel like it'll go with this outfit that I have on right now. Um, you can wear it, you know, just right here, you can wear it on the arm, you can wear it as a top handle. It's, vers it's versatile in that way. And I don't know if, if you guys can see, but it holds a lot. I have this in a brown version. I wouldn't get the brown version first, only because it's brown and black is everything. That's the only reason. But if I lost it all, I would get this and then I would save up a little bit of money and then I'll get the brown version and I'll probably get the green version as well because they have a green, they have a green version of this as well. I will link this down below if they still have it. This is from Anthropology. I think I'm talking really, really fast. If I am, I apologize. This is New York. I mean, it's coming out. Now I'm doing a fresh accent. I don't, I don't, but how did we get here? To be honest, how did we bloody get here? How did we get here? Oh my bloody, all right. Anyway. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in Love Island right now. Sorry. I have to like undo the accent at some point, but I've, yeah. All right, okay, are we back? Are we back? Are you okay? All right, oh, fudge. Okay, <laughs> anyway. <sighs> American accent in three, two. Okay, so this is from Anthropology. And again, I get I would get this immediately because this is my baby right here. Me and her, we go together real bad. And I just like her, I do. I would get the brown at a later date because the black goes and everything and she holds a lot. I don't know if she looks like she does, but she holds a multitude of sins in here. She can hold it. She's very capable. The leather is very good, very soft, very supple. Um, when you just on looking at it, it doesn't look like it's like cheaply made because sometimes like with dupes, they can be very, like, just on first sight, it just looks horrible. You're like, Ugh. like me even trying to wear this out, I need to slap myself. For even trying to wear this out but for this one girl i can wear this out any day of the week any day of the month any month of the year i'd be good so i would 100 percent get this in a heartbeat you don't have to tell me twice it is like i think 100 and change for this so i mean if it's not really in a, you know in your budget i feel like there's so many many dupes out there you don't have to get these ones from anthropology this is just my favorite and we go together real bad so i have one more bag actually i'm gonna show you guys right in a second but this guy me and her that's my man i'm gonna stick beside him i'm gonna stick beside him a little bit okay let's go to the next one all right so next up we have this mark jacobs snapshot bag i have featured this bag in a couple of styling videos as well this bag not only is it like, it's one of the lesser expensive designer bags in my collection, um, but not forget the price point. I think for everything in my closet, this just works. For example, right? I am wearing cream. I'm also wearing uh, a cargo pant. I'm wearing green cargos, by the way. I'm wearing green cargos. And just, if I, I'm just being lazy right now. Otherwise I would bring out like the, the crossbody strap, I would, but I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna do it. But the crossbody strap with this, oh my god! You know what? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna find it. I'll be back. I'll be back. All right. So like I was saying, I got the strap. I got the strap. But <laughs> this bag, let's just get into it, right? <sighs> Goes with everything. Goes with everything. I. I don't ever have to think about like, okay, let me create an outfit around this bag because 
everything in my closet just works with this. I don't know how, but somehow whenever I'm just like, I don't know what bag I need to wear. Her, every single time, I'm grabbing it. I'm grabbing it. I've grabbed it for many, many years. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna continue to grab it as the years go by, but just this, Marc Jacobs Snapchat. If you have a very neutral, like greens, grays, creams, browns wardrobe, I think this is the perfect one-stop shop when it comes to bags. It, it just, I, I can't say enough, I'm sorry. I just, I can't. Um, I have like a bunch of bags that I'm not featuring in this video. You guys can check out my bag collection. You guys seem to like that one a lot, actually. I, yeah, thanks, by the way. <laughs> thanks, by the way. But um, so if you do want to see like my entire bag collection, you, um, I'll link it. I'll, I'll, there's so many videos that I've mentioned it in this video, but I'll link it <laughs> somewhere. But by the way, thank you guys for really showing love to that video. But um, of all my entire bags that I've mentioned in that video, this guy, if I had to purchase right after a fire, right after if I lost it and, you know, in my baggage, and 10 times over, you know, I would buy it every day and twice on a Sunday. That's what I'm saying. And yeah, so it's just this bag and like, look, cream and green cargoes and she works. She works. She eats all the time, all the time. So that I'm only featuring these two bags because realistically, hey man, I have a limited budget and if I'm restarting my entire, my entire wardrobe, I'm not just going to blow $10 million. So if I'm being, real, I'm being realistic for me, I buy the anthropology bag and I buy the Mike Jacobs bag just because it'll hold me over up until I can save up enough to buy like the bigger pieces because they are expensive. They are expensive. So I just, I need wiggle room to, you know, dress nice, but also save up to buy what I really want to buy. So that's just, that's just me. All right. So. Now I'm gonna go into coats, coats, coats. Yeah, I'm gonna go into coats, okay. All right, so clearly I like creams a lot. I don't know why, but I guess I do. And I also feel like every style or fashion girly has, yeah, I feel like we all have a fur coat. I feel like we all have a fur coat. It might not be like full fur, it might be faux fur, or it might be like a leather and fur, but we all have something, okay? And this is my something. I got this from Zara last autumn winter. This is literally from their 2022 collection. Um, I also have a video <laughs> styling this. Whew. So if you wanna go check it out, I'll pop it somewhere so you guys can find it. But yeah, this is my favorite. Um, the only thing is I actually haven't worn it. So it, has, it still has like some of its tags on. I haven't worn it only because, only because, I live in California and it's hot. Well, it's not hot, but it is never that cold to where you need a fur coat. I feel like I would be so pretentious if I whipped this out in the middle of November. People were looking at, look at me like I'm crazy. It does not get that, it's never that serious. It's never that serious. It was, you know what it was? You know what it never was? That serious. It was never that serious. And this is one of those coats where I have to find like, a really cold vacation to wear it to or not even a vacation just like i just so happen to be in new york city and there's like a snowstorm or something whatever the case may be so that's when i feel like i can thrive in this but i would definitely purchase this now not immediately then again not immediately just because again i live in california but if this got lost in a fire i'd repurchase this if i had like a cold winter wonderland vacation planned I definitely would go looking for a fur coat. It might not be exactly this or this color, but essentially the fur vibes will be thriving. So yeah. And I feel like how much was this? This was like, well, it's in, it's in euros, but like 200 euros. I don't know how many dollars that's in, maybe 250, 250 I think. But yeah, that's what this is. And I'll link the video where I styled this coat. But I did that for like a, that was like my Zara haul video. So that's why I haven't worn it. It was just first time purposes on that video. But yeah, this is she. Take a look. Take a gander. <sighs> Although I do think this makes me look like a big bird, but shh. <laughs> All right, on to the next. All right, so next up we have this coat. This is from Because of Alice. I got this in a size medium. Um, okay. What do I start? I would run. Actually, I think also 
this coat is sold out. So <laughs> if my house is burning, I would probably grab this one because it's sold out. And I think the other dupes of the, you know, those people that we cannot mention anymore, those, those people, the hourglass coat, the people who made the hourglass coat. Yeah, you know who that is. But um, dupes for those coats are insanely ridiculous. So I just, I, I just wouldn't do it. This one was more on the reasonable price end of it all. I featured this on my what I wore in Barcelona video. So I'll link that as well. And also if you haven't seen the vlog, it's actually one of my favorite vlogs that I have edited, to be honest. It was just so fun to edit and I, I just had, I had a blast editing that video. So check it out. Thank you. But anyway, this was featured in my what I wore in Barcelona video. Um, I think I wore this like three days straight. I often don't wear coats when I travel. I don't like it. It's not comfortable, but this, I'm not lying. This was pretty good. It was really comfortable to travel in. Um, it's really, really long. I'm not the tallest person either, so that's a fair point, but it's really, really long and it just, it does what you need it to do. It's long sleeves um, and it's just, it's cinched at the waist. So, you know, you have that hourglass detail and cinched at the waist really, really nicely and it just it has some padding in the shoulders i cannot say enough about this coat i liked it so much that i got it in a brown version but i get the black first again because black goes with everything so that's with this one so that's it for the coats and then lastly we have dresses and yeah let me let me grab those for you guys all right now onto dresses it's this white dress from Andrea Iyama. Um, it just has this detailing at the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then it has like these really, really long um, ties at the back as well. This dress I got for my birthday two years, maybe two years ago, was it two? Maybe two years ago, two years ago. And I wore it again last year on my birthday trip to Cabo. And there was this one time, actually no, story time. We had a beach dinner and then I was walking back up the boardwalk, I guess you can call it. And there was this little girl who just kept staring at me. And like, yeah, she just kept staring at me like as if I was the most beautiful person she'd ever seen. But anyway, I really, really like this dress. It's just so, it's such a girly dress. I'm not the most girliest of girls. Am I? Would you say I'm a girly girl? I wouldn't say I'm a girly girl. But it's a girly dress and it's just so feminine and it looks like a wedding dress to be honest because it is so long. Again, I'm not the tallest person in the world. I'm like five foot five and a half on a good day. And this just literally sweeps the entire floor um, each time I wear it. So, and it also, by the way, it has like I want to say bone-in detail on the inside, just like right on this part, um, just to kind of cinch in the waist a little bit. So that's that with this dress. And it's just stunning. It, um, I'll pop up pictures like on the screen somewhere just so you guys can see what it looks like. And yeah, the last time I wore this dress, I did really feel very beautiful. And that's the thing about me and dresses, especially like my birthday dresses. for Because I don't buy dresses on a regular. I don't. I'm not a dress girl. I'm not a dress girl. But um, when I do buy dresses, I, I want them to always make me feel like the most beautiful girl in the world. And if I feel that way, then I tend to keep it. And I would buy this dress again because I felt like an absolute princess when that little girl was just, she couldn't, she could not stop looking at me. And I think that's like the ultimate compliment, right? Like, yeah, like adults, you know, that's cool. But when a child is just like enthralled by your beauty, oh my God, I think you're winning. And I think I won. <laughs> I'm just like, but yeah, now this is from Andrea Yama. I don't know if it's still on the website, but I will check and I'll link it down below. All right, now last is my absolute favorite thing in this entire, entire video, right? It's another white dress, by the way. Let's get into it. All right, last but not the least is this dress. Now, I know it probably doesn't look like much. It's just, you know, it's a linen, white, not really white. It's more on like eggshell. It's like an eggshell color dress. Um, and I know to some, this might just be like, you know, a regular, regular pleated <laughs> eggshell, high collar dress, but bam, turn it around. It's 
backless. Now, if it's one thing I like, I like something that's like high, high, I love a high neck situation, but I also like, I like backless. Backless, backless me all day. Okay. Okay. But no, seriously, backless me all day. Um, I don't know what to say about this dress. Uh, okay. Let me just tell you, the reason I would buy this dress again, I think this was like 200 and something when I got it. The reason I'd buy this dress again is just because the very, I remember very distinctively, it was my birthday, I did my hair, I did my makeup, I had, um, I had in like a, like, my hair was in a silk, slick back bun, um, makeup was on point, everything was just, it, everything was giving, and then I put on this dress. And I tried on the dress before my birthday, that's how I knew I was going to keep it, hello. And then, you no, know, everything was, everything good together, I put on this dress, and I looked at myself in the mirror, and that was the first time in forever, maybe ever in my entire life, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. I think that was the first time in my entire life that I looked at myself and I was like, wow, you look beautiful. Like, you know, like, I mean, obviously we all have, you know, insecurities or whatever, whatever, whatever. But um, I don't think I could ever like see myself past like my insecurities, if you will. And I put on this dress. Ow. Why did I just do that? Okay, um, I put on this dress and I felt like the most beautiful woman in the world and like no one could knock me off of that pedestal, which was that I put myself on, obviously. And like, I just, so that's why I would buy this dress again. <laughs> Long story short is because uh, I could be rinky-dink and broke back bill dirty and whatever and i would put this dress on and i would always remember that day that feeling and it just it just it holds a really special place in my heart and yeah that's how i buy it again in a, in a heartbeat in a heartbeat and if they don't i don't think they make it anymore but if they do i would like it down below now here's the here's how down bad i am for this dress if i ever lost it I would 100% email um, Carla. Carla is the owner of this brand. I'd email her personally, and I would beg her, beg her. I'd pay. I would pay premium price, probably double what I paid for the dress, just so that she could make just what just one more, one more. And that's just that's just how thirsty I am because it's just a feeling that I don't often get. But this dress, for the very first time, I put it on, and I was that girl. And I will never forget it. So <laughs> that's essentially why I would buy this dress again. I will. I, I feel like I have pictures somewhere of me wearing this dress. I'll put it up um, so you guys can see. But yeah, this dress just does it for me all the time. I'm obsessed. I love it. It's backless. Ugh. I love. I love a good backless situation. Just you know, give them a little bit of a heartache. You know. You know. You know. Ladies of your men at home, the party's full of ballers and the pockets full of grown okay but <laughs> yeah so anyway yeah that's it this is literally the last piece that i would actually no this is the first piece i would i would be purchased to be honest it's first very first very first thing and yeah that's that's that all right guys so that's it for this video what would i repurchase if i lost it all um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and leave comments down below let me know what things in your closet you would repurchase in a heartbeat let me know why you would um for me with the dresses they just hold a really special place in my heart whether it's me feeling like a princess or whether it's me feeling like the most beautiful girl in the world um that's essentially my reasoning with the dresses i know i didn't mention any shoes but essentially just i would repurchase all my hokas because they're the most comfortable shoes in the world and I'm flat footed. That's really just the only reason. Then they're the most comfortable shoes for my feet. So I would just shut off my collection again with the Hocus. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you guys would repurchase. And I feel like I would make a video of what I absolutely, well not, I feel like I should make the opposite of this video with like what I won't, what I will not repurchase and why. I feel like I'm gonna do that. We'll see. <laughs> But um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on the socials, um, on TikTok and on Instagram. TikTok and Instagram. And uh, let's see what else. I feel like that's about it. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Hopefully, maybe, maybe you will, maybe you won't. But I guess you should have to subscribe and turn on your notifications. 
so you, that way you can know if I did post on Wednesday or not. But yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Until next, until next time. Thanks.